Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing on the Play by Sephora box. So I thought today I would do it a little bit differently. I wanted to go ahead and open up the box ahead of time and kind of try out the products. I really like the idea of trying out the products so that you can see as well how they work and not just what we get in the box. So I went ahead and did my makeup. I purposely left a couple of things out, that way I can try the stuff in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull items out of the bag. And as I do so, I will insert a picture of the item close up, and then I will also be reading a little bit more information of the item and how to use it properly from the little booklet that we get inside. So this month the bag is clear and it says play all over it in red letters. I love this bag. I think it's so cute. It does look like a little envelope and then it does have a little button right here where it snaps open and closed and the items are inside. I think this is so cute. I could definitely use this for work which is what I really like. That for me was the biggest thing in the box this month. So the first thing that I pull out is this Believe Hungarian Water Essence which is this one right here. So this one says it's a lightweight elixir and delivers highly effective antioxidants using lavender, rosemary, and other soothing botanicals. So this is going to be more natural, I believe. Oh, okay. It absorbs really quickly. I really, really like that. It doesn't leave like a residue or anything on my fingers or my hand. It feels really, really nice and lightweight. It says to use this before your moisturizer, but honestly, I feel like I could use this as a moisturizer just because I do have an oily T-zone. Um, so I feel like this is something that I look for. Something very lightweight and that's not going to leave too much of a residue on my face because I hate that feeling. And it does have more of a natural feel. I think it's because it has that rosemary and all that stuff, but it's not overpowering, which is what I like because I hate when things smell too strong. So moving on to the next thing is a Tatcha One Step Cleansing Oil, which just this. I'm really excited for this one because I am using the Tatcha Water Cream, which is this one. I got a little sample of this in my order, and I am loving this stuff. It is a water-based cream, which I love. Um, it's really, really nice. Just thought I'd mention that in there because I did end up getting this, which I'm so excited to use these two together. So this is the Camila Oil Cleanser. Um, it has Camila Oil and it says it soothes and nurtures the skin. So it does say also that you can use it around the eye area. You take a little bit of this, you rub it on your dry skin, and then you rinse it off. It says that you can double cleanse. I wanted to see if it had a weird smell. But honestly, it has like a very faint, faint like clean scent it doesn't have a strong scent at all so I'm excited to try this it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel really oily either so the next thing is this Tristique Tristique I'm not sure how you say it um, but it's a highlight stick but it is super creamy let me just swatch it for you so that's it right there it's a very natural glow. I tried blending this out earlier and I really liked it. It looks very subtle. It is more natural. So I wanted to try this on camera for you guys. It's an illuminating stick. It's a cream highlight. That's basically what it is. So I am going to apply it just with the tips of my fingers and then just dab it on my cheekbones and hopefully it does not move my foundation or anything like that. I do like the color of this and I just hope that it works. And I just used a little bit of product, but I like that. It's a very natural glow. As far as I can tell, it's not moving my foundation at all, so it does layer nicely on top of powder and everything else. Um, that's what I was kind of worried about, but I like the way it looks. It gives you more of a glow within type of look, which I really like. Now, I'm still being a little bit careful because I'm not sure if... I were to kind of swipe it up my nose or across my cheeks like this, it would move anything, so I'm just kind of patting it on. So that's it right there. I really enjoy this product. It's nice. It's a pretty color. I thought it was going to maybe be a little bit too light for me, but it looks nice. I like it. 
sometimes these products dry super quickly so it's kind of hard to blend them out once they set but this one I really like it I think it's nice and it's nice and blendable next up we got the Omega 9 hair mask that's the name I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because I can't pronounce it but it's a hair mask it says Instructions are, after shampooing hair, apply generously all over, comb through, leave in 15, 10 to 15 minutes, and rinse. So it's just your typical hair mask. Um, my hair has been really dry lately because I do use a lot of heat on it, so I'm excited to try this and hopefully it works. The last thing we got in here is this nude stick. So This is the color that I got. It's Nude Stick Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the color Greystone. So that's just what it is right there. And I do have it swatched right here earlier. I played around with it. Um, I am going to try it on, but I will most likely be taking it off because I feel like this is a little bit intense, especially for the eye look that I have today. But I just wanted to try it on and see how it applies. I'm not a very big lip person like I've mentioned before just because I don't like reapplying my lipsticks. But I will say this. I put this on earlier, just that little swatch. I did my makeup, I did my hair, I did everything else. I cleaned my hands multiple times and it did not rub off. Um, like I said, I had played with some of these before because we do have them in Ulta stores now. So I played around with it a little bit and we noticed that they do not budge. So that's a really, really good sign. I just wish I would have gotten a little bit of a different color because this one's a little bit intense. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. But hey, that's what these boxes are for, right? To play around and make up, discover new things. So I... So it's definitely very, very matte, and it's also very opaque. Um, I don't mind the color, actually. I kind of think it looks good. Um, it is a little bit of, out of my comfort zone, like I said before, but I like it. I think it's nice. It applies really, really smoothly. Um, my lips are usually kind of dry anyway, so I did notice a little bit on the sides right here that it started to pick up some of my dry skin. I know that's gross, but it is kind of sticky. I'm, I'm not sure why. I've been letting it sit for a couple of minutes and it does have, it doesn't have any transfer. So this is the back of my hand. There's nothing on there. And very minimal, minimal transfer. Nothing like anything else that I've ever tried. Usually, usually all the other lip products that I used before in the past will have a lot of transfer. And they'll start wearing off really, really quickly. This is the swatch that I just did. And as you can tell, it's not moving. Like, it's really, really nice. That I enjoy a lot. For the most part, I like it. Um, it's not something that I would wear, obviously, every day. But it is something to kind of play around with. That's part of the reason why I love subscription boxes. Is because you don't have to buy a full product and commit to it without actually knowing if you're going to like it. This is no. the fragrance that we ended up getting. Sorry, guys. I forgot to film this part. So I will be listing more information about the products, the prices, and everything, and the price for the box as well. It is a monthly subscription from Sephora. Um, so if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys got anything different in your subscription box. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!